What's up guys, this is The Roverman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to kind of run off my last time, the sneaky Austrians attacked Guatemala and my Colombian, my Guatemalan brothers are not happy about it, but they will be soon. Um, but importantly, I attacked the Austrian fleet and captured every single one of their ships. They are all mine. So I've doubled my strength considerably. I tried to send my uh, army here to send. I tried to send them south to attack them, but when I left uh, Texas, the people were livid. So I need to send them back. Um, so this army down here in Caracas is going to make their way up to Guatemala and attack the Austrians for me and capture the territory back. But I think it might be a net gain, a temporary loss of my territory for a significantly stronger fleet. I think, I think that's a net gain. I think it is. So let's check on... So basically I want, I want to spend things on things that will earn me money at this point. But everything seems to be upgraded except for this theatre, but I suppose... Theatres do help me out, don't they? Research points per turn. Opera House gets me plus two to town wealth, so I'll do that. Ah, and I'll upgrade you to craft workshops, my good sir. Excellent. Can I upgrade roads? I can. Perfect. Oh yeah, I have temporarily lost a school. Have they destroyed it? No, they haven't. But you know what I will do? What should I steal? Oh, I realize I'm not doing that up. Uh, I'm not taking advantage of that up here, am I? Steal research. Steal. Interchangeable parts for sure. Yeah, I have these guys work on stealing tech while they're there, um, but... Ah, there we go. Cool. End turn. Give region New Mexico. Stop. I wish I could, there was a setting I could click which would just stop this from being a thing. Hmm. Push me out as much as you like. I'll be back. There's nothing you could do about it. Radio. Yeah, so I'm still, apart from this slight little derailing, um, my general plan is pretty solid. I'm going to keep hopping around and securing my territories in the Caribbean and then I don't know what I'm going to do I'd like to send a little army out to Iceland just to have a little foot in the door of Europe I'd really like it if France or Prussia or someone knocked out the United Provinces because I would take out their Dutch territories and then I would take their Indian territory that would be awesome too there you go. Where's the letter of demands from Texas? Unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building. Ah. Oh yes, yes, yes. Important technology right here. Farm upgrades gives me more population. Oh, there we go. It's going to get rid of food shortages completely. Excellent. Texas has new roads. Move the army in. There you go. Cheer up. Your gentleman's failed to steal the technology. Oh, so it's their chance of stealing the tech. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, then I'll have you back. <laughs> you will come all the way back. Fourth rate ship of the line. All right. 
There you go, get that ship fixed. Why have I suddenly... who's being... Oh, it's because I've lost this trade port. Lots of my trades dried up. Well, temporarily. Let's take the army. And then... Replenish for a turn. Should build walls around you, really, for the fair opportunity that someone's going to try to attack you. Westphalia's been destroyed. Texas is Catholic. Good. Who destroyed Westphalia? Ah, then damn it! The United Provinces have expanded. That's the last thing I wanted. Okay. Trick gained. Rustic gentleman. Yeah. It's okay. The very next turn, the army will come in and crush the Austrians. And they've not destroyed my school. Sure, they've destroyed my port, which is frustrating, but I'll just rebuild it. Cool. End turn. Give... No! No, 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 no. Not gonna happen. Oh, don't raid me. Try base, like, what are you raiding me? Whoop, that was definitely a uh, handle to a chest of drawers under my desk. <laughs> it is a really crap handle, though. It's a screw, but it's completely loose. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so the Austrians are going to be super annoying and raid my territory. Um, but I can deal with that. The important thing is getting my territory back. I think I've got a unit of militia inside the port, so it depends on sending to raid. If it's cavalry, I might have a shot. If it's line there infantry with fire by rank... Suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here... Yeah, it's a full on upgrade. Now let's do you first. Let's amalgamate these fleets. Lots of brigs. So, what are you? Hussars, you're an actual you Hussar unit. Mm, yeah. Get them in the port. Sí, señor. Disembark. You know what I'm going to do? The army, all of my cavalry. See, all of my cavalry. Two units of my cavalry. And. Ooh, I can send infantry. Two units of cavalry. Two units of militia. And a line of unit. Go chase down that Hussar unit. So don't need my entire army to finish off this force. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I might fight that. It's a fun little battle. To teach the Austrian territory. Front rank. Artillery off to one side. Horse artillery to the other side.
two feet back for reinforcements. General behind them. How it's there behind them. All artillery, focus fire this unit of foot artillery. Massacre them. Not even, I didn't even get like, one gun destroyed. So it's got Swiss pikes, Swiss pikes. West Indian infantry, Farcom City. They've got an interesting unit somewhere. Unless it's hidden. Oh, it must have been this militia unit with their strange hats. Oh, there goes one whole gun team wiped out. And they're routing. Good. Not everyone else, just pound away. I can see you running around on the flank. That's right, you gunners. You better run. Back. Oh, wow. Oh, devastating. Absolutely devastating. General still running around. Still let oh. Devastating. Yeah, just want to soften them up really a bit just before. Let's the trouble with these pikes, is they are very good. I think because they're lighter artillery, they do reload faster than conventional foot artillery. Still going after. Oh, someone landed one in. Okay, let's re reallocate their fire. You aim at West Indian mercenaries. You aim for that militia unit. You aim for not the Farlock Arm citizenry. You aim for that pike still. How it says you still loft over into the pikes. Oh. Still no fear from the mercenaries. Oh, I saw a puff of red. Okay, I might speed this up a bit just to see if. see what happens. And if they run. this, this horse team runs within range of my colonial line of foot. I'm pretty sure they probably won't be able to kill it because horses and art for artillery units seem to be almost impervious to bullets. Yeah, they're not even going to engage it. Good, there's the gunners. Well... Nothing for it.
General's coming up close. Let's run these two units of infantry. Because the General fancies his chances. Nope, he's wheeled off right. In which case, take this, take this ridge. You advance up in the face of oh no, Swiss pikes. Time. Let's wheel them right to form the centre. Let's keep these guys pushing to threaten the left. Right, let's halt you actually. So it's still firing. Fire. Fire. Two. Two guys. You're joking. <laughs> Five, better. Okay, run you guys, because there's garrison militia stein format. Kind of fusileros. Took a fire in advance. Keep the pressure up. We stopped. I wonder if they've reloaded. Ah, they've been charged. Oh, we need to send both of them on to destroy this one unit of pikes because the fusilier no the fusiliers are dying. Adam. Let's get 
all my artillery flying on that unit of militia. Yeah, this is one area fusil areas don't do well. <laughs> don't blame you guys. Fall back. Swiss pikes in the melee. Do not blame you. And this colonial line of foot unit could fall. If we can manage to destroy this pike unit with heavy casualties, but. There you go, 60 80. Okay, so let's get you. Can okay, you withdraw? Fire it will on. Charge on. Fire it will on, so you can now present. I oh, know they've not finished reloading. Now they have. That's a position where manually reloading is fine. Get those muskets firing. Get all them on my general. Punishment. Very punishing. Phew, got a bit squiffy towards the end there. I'll tell you that. These Fusilier also forget how much they do not do hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'd like to think it was that one guy at the end. <laughs> that final bang. Oh, those guerrilla mercenaries. Oh good, they are routing too. All the way at the back. Everyone is routing. Excellent. End battle. Whew. See so It's not it's a three to one ish exchange ratio. But the big thing is I have recovered Guatemala at the cost of many lives. Let's get my ship on the port section. There you go. Twelve hundred. Although ivory is now not worth jack. So let's rotate two Indian Shift them over to the uh, to the um, spices. Cool. I think I'm going to end the turn. Everything seems to be, seems to be okay. I need to fortify Caracas because that's a territory that I don't want to lose. Caracas. Let's go to the key. Um, everywhere else I can handle. God. See, it's somewhere. Click. Okay. It's just going to happen. I'm not going to. I'm not going to pretend I'm not, because <laughs> I'm a bit of an idiot. It will happen. 
No promises, sailing on. Good, good, good. You better keep walking. Hmm, the Danes. Danes are up to no good. Yeah. Things are going broadly well. I mean, if that's all that the... Um, the Austrians could afford to send over here, or could afford to send over here, risk losing, then I think that itself is pretty beneficial for me. If they're sending a full proper stack with artillery all packed up to the gills of our, with cavalry, you know, grenadiers, elite line infantry units, could be a bit tricky, but I am more than equal to the task. Anything, so I've lost a turn of research there, but I'll I'll be able to deal with that. Cool. There is a port in this region. That yes, I know. Trade port, you. Let's get you back to town. You, up in my college, getting my gentlemen back in. You were doing socket bayonet, were you not? So you don't want seed planting drill. Don't really want advanced irrigation because I don't have any farms. No, three turns for plus an amount of town. No, I don't have much town wealth. Um, do that. Joint stock companies. It makes me. It gives people clamour for a form, but you know, I need it. I need the. Uh, see, I might get a military governor's barracks because this is going to be a frontier town. That also means I can recruit a garrison here without, um, and eventually be able to lo leave the town. See right now, if I left, it would be minus thirteen. Okay, let's fix. No, nope, can't fix. Oh, I can't fix everything. Oh no, don't have. I'm sure I have. Oh no, it's because it's not a poor, is it? That's what it is. Okay, let's put you down here to Cartagena. There you go. So this fleet up here, I'm going to strip out the six and the brigs, and they're going to be their own little transport fleet. Like, so I know I can use single ships, and I might break this up even more. Or oh, I might actually do it now. Do that. So I have one transport squadron, two transport squadrons, uh, like a guard fleet, and then down here to the south is my main fleet. Sweet. Right, looking at the timer though, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys, and we've managed to get the own back on the silly Austrians and derail my plans for a part or a couple of parts. <laughs> anyway. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you've enjoyed.